it is that time of the season again where students of University of Cape Coast go to the poll to elect the next batch of student leaders for the 2022-2023 academic year. And of course, this explains why we are on your screen. We're here to give you updates on the election and in view of this, we would be visiting all the polling centers in the university. And with polling centers, I am referring to the traditional halls in the university. My name is Louise McQueen, and of course you can call me the PDF. This is TV UCC. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please, this is the time. Subscribe to our channel, click on the notification icon to get a latest and update, and do us that favor by sharing this content for the entire world to get to know what we are doing. So in a bit, we would be interacting with the students and of course some of the aspirants, we would find out how they are feeling and uh, definitely we would also speak with some of the electoral uh, commissioners in the university. So stick and stay and enjoy this conversation. We'll come your way. Stay with us. So I have the privilege to speak with one of the electorates and of course, She's excited. Let's get to know why she keeps smiling. Lady, you're welcome to TV UCC. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Uh, what's your name? Let us get to know you. Okay, so I'm Beatrice. I'm in level 300, Beard Accounting student. Uh, which polling center or station are you voting? Okay, so I'm for Team Citizen Silas and I'm an Ogwa Hola. Oh, okay. You are related to Ogwa. Have you voted? Not yet. I'm just, I'm just waiting for how things are going. I'm just looking at the environment. I'll vote later. I, I tell us, what is keeping you uh, from going to the polling station to vote right away? It's, it's nothing really. I just want to meet my friends who are coming in and then tell them about my agenda. So after everything, I'll go and vote. I'm just, I'm just waiting to tell people about the people I'm campaigning for. Yeah, so after that, I'll go in and cast my vote. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Any shout out? Okay, so shout out to Sim Teams, Citizen Silas, and then all Beard Accounting students. We wish you all the best. All right, so here with me is Ophelia. Ophelia is contesting for Ugwaho president, and uh, I've seen her post this. Let's find out from her if she has voted. Ophelia, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm very fine. I've seen your posters around and I see your name to be Ophelia. Tell us about yourself. Let's get to know more about you. Alright, so I'm Ophelia. I love a 300 student reading hospitality and tourism management. And as the year keeps coming and then every year new executives needs to be elected, I felt it right that Ogaho needs to be redefined. And our premiership is not just about the, um, the buildings, but it's about the individuals. For that reason, I joined this team called Team Nana B, and we are aspiring for Guaho presidency. And I just don't know what to say, but it is not that simple as I thought. And however, it's a nice experience, and it's a nice time to also get an encounter with people, seeing their issues, and then willing to come and also solve it. And the D-Day isn't looking like the, uh, the, the normal announcement we get every day. But however, since the journey is still ongoing, we just trust for nothing but victory. And let's see how it goes after 9 p.m. Yes. Have you voted? Not yet. I'm yet, to, I'm yet to vote. What are you yes, waiting for? I'll vote. I'll vote. I had to go and pick up some friends from Signs. And then, you know, I want to see my people come in. And then after that, I'll top my own with the blessings of Ophelia's votes. And then we take it up after 9 o'clock. Thank you for speaking with us. You are welcome, PD. Is there any special message for your people watching? I just want to tell them that, you know, whether win or lose, it's an experience. Um, and I can, we have this saying that, oh, I'm quiet, and I'll say, yeah, I'm cool. And I believe that it has been a nice experience from, um, I think we came August, from August till now, oh, sorry, July somewhere there. From then till now, it has been a nice experience. They should have a nice experience. And those that they win, those of us that will win, yes, we the winners, yeah. We the winners, we should seek to the welfare of people. I just believe in this philosophy that it's not about today, it's about tomorrow. And if you are loyal to the people, when we get up there, they are the same people that they will praise us. They might not be able to get close to us, but they can watch us on telly and tell their kids that this lady did marvelous during my time. And indeed, your name will be praised. Good name is better than riches. So when you win, see to it that you do the wish and the role of your people. Very impressive. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Another gentleman here 
uh, who is ready to speak with us. Gentlemen, you're welcome to TVUCC. Thank you very much, boss. What's your name? Please, my name is Dramani. Dramani is Sudan, yeah. Uh, which one are you affiliated to? Yes, I'm an affiliate of KNH, Kwame Kuma Hall. Yeah. This is Ogwaho. What are you doing here? I'm here for Eriku. 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 For UCC as a situation. Hold on. Have you voted already? I've not voted, but I'll go and vote. I I'm here to campaign for him to win. So after here now, I'm going to vote. Like an in 30 minutes time now, I'm going to vote. What if you don't get a chance to vote? I'm, I'm going right now. Like, I'll go and vote. What, what if I don't vote and he loses? It will pay me, so I have to vote. I have to vote. I'm going to vote. Uh, all right. We we'll wish you all the best, okay? Is there any shout out? Shout out to Eriko, Eriko number two on the list. You see SR situation, please vote for Eriko, right? Eriko number two, number two. Thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Both side shuttle station, and of course, we're still giving you an update on the 2022-2023 academic year election. And uh, students of University of Cape Coast are today electing the new batch of executives. And I have the privilege to speak with the ladies here. Yeah? Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. How about you? I'm also fine. What's your name? Afrakuma Sakina. Afrakuma, what's the hall of, uh, hall of affiliation? ATL. Have you voted? Yes, please. How was the process? Mm, I think there has been a change in how we are supposed to select the ones we think they are the right people for us. Yeah. And then... And I think that's what I can say about it, <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you encounter some challenges? Oh, okay. No, I didn't encounter any, any challenge, yeah, sure. What is your word to students who are watching, especially those who have not yet voted? Okay, I will tell them to choose, um, choose rightly and those, they should choose those people they think they can help get um, bring some changes to the in school as a whole. Yeah. We're grateful for your time. Thank you. May your candidate win. Amen. <laughs> uh, of course, I've seen a couple of gentlemen here. Uh, let me let's see how do I get them. Okay, gentlemen, come closer to me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. What's your name? Uh, Jerry Clinton. You're a student, I guess. Yeah. Have you voted? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which program are you studying? I'm studying BS Social Science. Economics Great. major. Great. Have you voted already? No. What are you waiting for? I'm about going to vote. I went for a class. So I just closed. So where are you voting? Where are you? Which polling Okay, okay, okay. Okay. And uh, would you would you, would you want to tell us something more about your candidate? Okay, I would like to vote for Barrister. Because I'm an Ogwa affiliate and he was also part of the Sir John government way back when we came to level 100 and we've seen what they were able to do so he's the one probably i'm going to vote for may your candidate win thanks <laughs> thank you of university of cape coast and uh, here with me is one of the people who are helping the electoral commission to ensure success in the election and of course we have to interact with it you know that is what we do and gentlemen you welcome to tvcc okay thank you thank you very much what's your name i'm nana osebu suakumia manasi former entertainment chairman of this noble hall yeah i'm right now serving as administrative assistant for the hall okay so sure. i'm here to help the elections probably i'm not part of the ec but since i'm into this administration i have to help yeah, that's the reason why i'm here conducting everything so that we have peace and order in this hall and after all the campus itself so so far what is your observation okay so far so good everything is smoothly going on and we've observed peace like so far we haven't heard of any uh, grievances so far yeah. Yeah, so that's what we are on right now and i don't think uh later on we are going to observe anything because their cadets everything they're all playing their parts here so I don't think there are going to be any uh, circumstances that will be any tedious or any bad thing. Thank you. What about the turnout? What is your take on that? Okay, so far I think uh, it's too early to say that someone is winning or someone is losing. But uh, as long as we are, we are waiting for the last time because anything can happen. Anything can happen. Right. So we are waiting for the last uh, hours for the easy to declare the votes. The main easy to declare the votes. That's why we are all waiting for. Right. We are grateful for your time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. <clears throat> so we're still giving you updates on the 2022-2023 UCC SRC local nukes 
uh, Grassag and JCRC elections. Currently, we are at the Atlantic Hall of University of Cape Coast, that is ATO, the Marines. And of course, beside me here is the EC for the process today. He is Ebenezer Ofori. Eben, um, help us to appreciate some of the observations that you have made so far. So far, so good. Everything is just going on smoothly. We started around 10 a.m. in the morning, but in the morning the turnout wasn't that that encouraging. But after uh, 12, the, the 